In this video, I am going to show you how to do the configuration in Skyworth router. First, I am going to show you how to log in the router. Open the web browser and type 192.168.1.1. That is the default IP address of the router. And default username and password is admin admin. If you have already changed the IP and username and password, you need to log in with the same IP and same username and password for changing the wireless details wireless name and wireless password select the wireless then select the primary network option if it is enabled we are able to see the wireless and we can connect to the wireless if you want to change the ssid here we are able to change the ssid name for this purpose we need to select network name or ssid please note if you are changing the ssid name and password if you are connected over the wireless, you will lose the connectivity once after changing the settings. Once after, you need to connect with new Wi-Fi name and password. For the password changing, we need to select WPA pre-shared key. Then enter the new wireless password. Then press the apply button. Now we are going to check how to do the port forwarding in this router. For this purpose, we need to select advanced. Here you are able to see forwarding press the create ipv4 then local ip address which is the internal server ip address we need to enter the server ip address then enter the local start port if we are using a series of port we need to type starting and ending if i am using the same port we can use the same in the starting and ending here i am using 8080 and ending is 8088 then Type the external IP address. Here I am leaving as default. Then typing the external start and end port. Then select the protocol. Here we are able to see TCP, UDP and both. If you want to enable only TCP ports, we can select TCP. If you want to enable only UDP port, we can select UDP. If you want to select both TCP and UDP, we can choose the both option. Then enter a description. Then enable make it as on then only the port forwarding policy will be active then press the apply button now our port forwarding policy is added if you want to edit the policy anytime we can able to edit using the edit button once after editing don't forget to press the apply button if you want to add again one more policy we are able to add after pressing the create ipv4 if you want to remove configured policy, we are able to remove using remove button. If you are using remove all button, we can remove all the policies in a single click. If you want to enable DMZ, you can select DMZ host, then enter the IP address. Then press the apply button. Except port forwarder port, rest all the port will be forwarded to DMZ host. If you want to disable the DMZ, you need to change to zero. Then only the DMSR host will be disabled. Then press the apply button. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.